Um, well, it's it's definitely uh, it it's an amalgam. Uh, uh, there's there's many many things that are very very close, and there's many many things that are are exaggerated or dramatized. Um, I mean, it's essentially the the skeleton of our story of how we how we uh, basically I uh, destroyed our this beautiful relationship and made a, a tremendous amount of terrible decisions and um, sort of self destructed and. Uh, bounced back and forth, kind of setting everything on fire, and immediately ran right back to her, trying to win her back. And she had gone to Paris and um, met a guy in Paris, and so that 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 That's element true. is all true. Um, but then there's uh, there's a lot of other characters and and things that you know were inspired some by by what happened, and some were just um, to make a better uh, yeah, a story. Yeah, you know. Sure. Um, Story yes, but the the uh, all the unfortunately many of the the clumsy um, horrific decisions that, that the character makes in the movie are are somewhat uh, true to, to what I've done. I wish I could play with uh, my imagination, but um, but yeah. So it, it's a combination. So what was your reaction when you suggested? Or I assume you suggested making that. You did. Yes. I was yeah. Um, he came home one day from a, a pitch meeting that he had where he was pitching other story ideas. He was like, well, they weren't really crazy about what I was you know, talking about, but then I just happened to mention our breakup and I told them the story of what happened and they loved it. Yeah. And I think I should write it into a movie. And I was like, I haven't even told my friends and family about what really happened. Yeah, yet another so. brilliant decision <laughs> <laughs> made by me. So I was kind of freaked out that he wanted to, to retell it. I was not sure how on earth we could, it could be made into something that was like, something that was audience friendly or funny or anything. Um, but that was when I, it just turned out that as I told this story to people it was it hit this chord and er everybody was like oh my god my proposal was the worst or you know my my, my best friend had the exact same thing happen where they you know kind of spun out of control and it's that that moment that sort of quarter life crisis where you're questioning you know yeah there's there's yeah. the there's those two roads and, and you're just you sometimes you're lucky enough to have the perfect thing but then doubt it and you think oh I'm just settling and I'm so comfortable and life should be filled with misery and pain Drama. And, and that's so inspiring um, and then you know so it, it, I think a lot of people definitely connected to that um, you know not having that fairy tale uh, proposal and not having that beautiful uh, that, that epiphany, you know, where, where everything clicks and, you know, things are a little messier and um, and so it seemed like a very human story and... Uh, and then when I read the script for the first time, I was really pleasantly surprised that it really did make me laugh and I got so to I. see it. In the, yes, <laughs> I, I got to see it in a very different light and, and, and getting to make this was a very cathartic way to put our own spin on it. Something sort of unhappy that happened to us. Yeah, yeah. I was curious about that. Like, how was it going back through that and uh, and this whole process, working on it together the way that you have? It was definitely rewarding, challenging. You know, sometimes it was hard for both of us to go back through it. And just you know, not not like we would have moments of like, oh my god, I can't believe we went through it. But like, just on our own, and I think in our own private moments, I'm like, oh, I remember that. It was not fun, but let's, let's, make, let's make something funny about it, you know? Yeah, and then add just the process and stress of making a movie, like, just any story, uh, and, and, and you, know, you put that with us telling our, our own story and, uh, and me as an actor having to go through all of that again and go back to Père Lachaise in Paris and, and, you know, act out the scene where I was sobbing and groveling to, to get her back and to come back to the U.S. You know, there's there's these things that happened that um, that were in the moment were I mean the, you know some of the worst lowest points ever for me and probably both of us and so um, you know we wanted to we wanted to be truthful about it and I guess there's there's something just inherently uh, funny and I think relatable and, and human about making mistakes and uh, and so yeah it was it was definitely there were moments of, uh, of it being incredibly challenging to, to get through but somewhat uh, cathartic therapeutic and twisted yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> I think the moment was is that he he was trying to come back. He was trying to come to Paris to surprise me like on my doorstep, and I my reaction upon seeing him was kind of just like this, like oh you know like what what are you right. doing here? And, and that hit him in a certain way because then he realized that I wasn't. Completely, he thought he was doing this very yeah, chivalrous, yeah. romantic gesture. Like I've seen not like coming to see yeah. you in Paris, and I'm at your doorstep, and I love you. And he's like expecting it to just be, yeah. like, we're all yeah. happily ever after. But I had met someone, and I was about to go to Spain with someone else, and so it really turned into this very tumultuous, unhappy, unromantic moment in Paris. <laughs> yeah, I thought, oh well, Paris is the city of love, but I mean, it's like it is. There's nothing more humiliating and, and sort of shaming <laughs> and failing romantically in Paris because it's such uh, okay. it is just this the history and, and like it's just this monolith of, of, of romance and beauty and um, poetry and, and art and so you know going out there and being just trampled on by that place and not knowing the language and having your you know the girl you love meet a Frenchman and it's just, uh, it was, it was just a, a horrible, <laughs> horrible experience, um, and and so we thought we should probably go back and, and do it again and relive it and shoot it um, and experience all these traumas again and um, and then continue to do so in press and then continue to talk about it in press yes. and then <laughs> show it to an audience and let people judge us yes, for our uh, um, yeah no so it's I mean I I feel I think we've just kind of. You know, there's something, there's something sort of liberating about putting yourself out there and just sort of, you know, if people are gonna like it or not like it, and, and we're we're happy with it, and you know, we learned a lot from it, and it's you just have to kind of take take it in. And it's scary, but I mean, we'll we're gonna we're gonna see it tonight, and uh, and with a bunch of people that know nothing about it, and I think that's exciting, at yeah. least for us, because we haven't we have literally almost zero. The objectivity. Yeah, at this point, it's just been us in a dark room in the editing room, or sound, you know, working on it in our own whole world. So now we can finish. Were you always going to be in the? Movie? Yeah, yeah, that was um, that was always the idea, um, and uh, yeah, I didn't really want to let somebody else uh, put themselves through through it. And, uh, I know I was I was excited to to tell the story at. at Portray the character. <laughs> How did everybody else become involved? Uh, Jason and Zachary. Uh, and yeah, I mean, uh, different sort of different. Uh, Jason is uh, I've been best friends with since um, eighth grade, and, and, and he's a great actor. Um, and so that was. And Melanie, we we knew personally as well, but we just it wasn't really our personal relationship that made us necessarily want her to play the part, we just thought she would be so perfect yeah. as this character, we just love her, her She's work wonderful, so much. Yeah. So, and so that was, yeah. So we were kind of nervous to go to her because we were like, what if she doesn't like it? Is she going to feel, would she feel weird passing on it because we're, you know, we're friends? Yeah. <laughs> but luckily she, she was really excited to work on it too, so. And Maggie was somebody that we, Maggie I think was actually the first uh, person, person involved and yeah. she was, we met with her and she's fantastic and, and has just the perfect quality and really seemed to she, she understood got, she the, got character the character right away yeah. and, and and I think she was excited to do something a little more comedic as was Zach too who was someone we loved and we've never seen do anything like it and we were really excited to try to for it, you know it's exciting to see people do something completely different and we were happy to be able to to offer that to those people and, sure. and they were yeah. we were lucky enough that they they were excited to, Let him to play around. Yeah. Something yeah. a little little less dark, a little less heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and he was he's hilarious and it's, it's great. Yeah. Uh, tell me a little more about the walkie talkie okay. direction. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. So we were in really small spaces and you know, we were in Brooklyn apartments that were tiny and it was so hot a lot it was during like the worst heat wave this last summer. Or and um there was no space. So yeah, we'd be shooting there. a scene in the entire, like, Everyone all the, the director, yeah. the 
the producer, everybody there would be like a block and a half yeah. down the hall. Like there was literally. We'd be on another floor. Yeah, or two <laughs> floors yeah. down sometimes, and running cables so, all the way down to New York is. Yeah, and just just in terms of time, it was like I, I would love to have been more personal, you know, and be able to whisper and talk to the actors like you know more intimately. But at a certain point, you're like, it's there's no time. It just there's, there's no time to go yeah. up and down the stairs. There's no time to do that. There's no room for me in here. So the walkie-talkie became. The Me, director, and, uh, yeah. and you would just hear the AD say like cut, and then you hear like, <laughs> uh, can you catch me to Simon? <laughs> like, oh, no. This like little black box of judgment and just placed in front of me, and be like, and for everyone to hear. Yeah, and then I get notes over like this loudspeaker from this box, and yeah. degrade it. No, but uh, but that was <laughs> crazy circumstances. Yeah, I know. We anywhere. just kind of had to get over. We had to get over it and just kind of do it. Um, yes. The first day of starting, which was hard and really hot, yeah. but just that moment of looking around and seeing this crew assembled, and um, for me, I guess it was a similar. I'd have almost every day at one point some moment of getting really overwhelmed with emotion by by the thought of that all these people had come out to help tell this story, and that we were really. It was something that I either lived or imagined, and we were getting to make it. And there were art directors and props, and you know, everyone in between there to serve this story. That uh, I guess uh, it didn't make me feel egotistic. Well, it wasn't a, a moment of arrogance. It was a moment of like gratitude. humility. Yeah. Gratitude. Sure. So yeah. So it, it was. It was like. That, that, but but the first day, I guess that when I looked up and saw all the and you see the, the little slate and it has the movie name and you know um, that was great. Then there were there were low points of uh, oh, heat yeah, stroke yeah. too, which aren't as uh, the, <laughs> the low points are fun in retrospect because <laughs> you guess. get to tell the story of like and then you know at yeah. the rap party I fainted and went to the emergency. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you waited till you got the but job done. I was done. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Always wait till you're done. Yeah. <laughs> Well, what do you want people to take away from this film? I hope that people can just share, you know, for other people who didn't have the perfect to make the story, that they can share and enjoy the, the moments of, you know, well, we, we're not the only ones who didn't uh, pull it off just the way some people love to. The know? sentiment of, oh, I guess it could have been worse, is, is <laughs> what I don't want to let people to take away. Look at that guy's fumbles. So, <laughs> nice fumbles. Um, so yeah. So you're trying to help other, other I'm trying gentlemen. To inspire people, like, you know. I'm saying, this is as bad as it will ever get. Actually, yeah, we did it all. So.